What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Here are my top five clothing pickles from 2022. For size reference, I'm a six foot two and 190 pounds. I'm a size large, extra large, I'm in between. Let's get right into it. So the first clothing pickle that I'm gonna show you guys is my Arc'teryx beta jacket in size large. This was the first piece in my Arc'teryx collection. This beta jacket is definitely one that you can use on just a regular basis. It could definitely be a daily driver. Honestly, you don't know what you're missing out on if you don't have a rain jacket. Yeah, as soon as you get like a rain jacket, a Gore-Tex rain jacket that has like the hydrophobic properties, it's really nice and you'll actually look forward to going out. You can see the dead bird on the outside as well as the Arc'teryx font. And then when you zip it open and you see on the inside, you can see the beta symbol. And then you also have these really nice side vents. And then you pop on the hood when it's actually raining and it's downpouring. Honestly, whenever it rains, I look forward to wearing this jacket. I look forward to going out and knowing that the rain will just bead right off. And you can see right here, just water just beads right off. It's actually crazy. A little backstory to this jacket. I used to work in oil and gas and I was once shipped out to British Columbia. And you know British Columbia, it just rains. And when I was there for about a week, it rained for six out of the seven days. And my company gave me a rain jacket, but it was one of those PPE rain jackets that was like bright orange. So when I came back to Ontario, I said, I need a rain jacket. Unfortunately, it doesn't rain as much as it does in British Columbia, but this is such a nice jacket and I love it to death. This is just another piece that I like to add into my jacket collection. It's starting to grow quite a bit and uh, getting more versatile and I have some pieces that I use for certain days. Next up is this Arc'teryx Covert Cardigan. It's not really a cardigan because it doesn't have the traditional like buttons or like the V that normal cardigans have, but uh, it's basically a mid-weight fleece and that's what they label it as on their website. And this was gifted by my girlfriend, so shout out to you if you're watching. But yeah, this was a piece that I wore Honestly, daily. When she got it for me, she told me to take it off because I would wear this so much. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces. It kind of just goes well with everything. This whole, like, it's kind of slate gray, blackish. So it's a very nice design, clean cut, keeps me warm. And I wore this a lot, especially near the end of summer, fall, and a little bit throughout winter. And honestly, I can just wear this quickly if I want to get in my car and go into the gym, nothing else. It's just a quick grab and go, so. But yeah, sizing reference, this is actually a double XL. When I tried it on at store, it was too snug when I tried on the large as well as the extra large. I think the extra large, the shoulders were just right. And I kind of wanted an oversized fit, so I went to an XXL. But yeah, I think this fits me really well. And honestly, I probably will pick up a different color in this. This is just one of my favorite cuts and it's so cozy and I love it. So thanks to my girlfriend, shout out to you. Next up on the list is a double up and this was actually a gift and they're six inch shorts. So the first one are these New Balance shorts. Uh, I got these at the outlet and they have been my favorite shorts. They have these compression shorts like built into them. Can't go wrong with a nice black pair. It's a nice tonal. Not a lot of branding, it's just that small like end right here at the bottom. Yeah, these are by far my favorite cut and like length of shorts. And yeah, I wear these a lot during the summer. It's just such a nice clean pair. But yeah, they're like the perfect length for me. Also, we have to start wearing like six inch shorts, guys. It just looks better on us. And when it starts hitting the knee, or even below the knee, that's kind of when it's like... But I have one trick. Uh, if you do have shorts that are kind of going like really close to the knee and it's just simply rolling them up. You just roll the waistband like this, just like this, and you get it a little shorter. It looks a lot better. Show off the leg a little bit more. That's it, that's my trick. Matthew's tips. The other pair is a gift. I actually have like this black pair, um, like the Gymshark black pair, as well as this nice, like, I don't know, it's like navy blue. It's kind of different type of blue. But um, my brother ended up getting this for me for my birthday. He got me the whole set, like the long sleeve as well as these. And I wear these a lot. Um, they're a nice length too. They're just a nice short that you can just wear at the gym and just not really have to care about anything. But yeah, these are a definite recommend. If you have like other shorts that you guys recommend, let me know down below. The next pickup is not necessarily clothing, but it's an accessory to the clothing. So I'm gonna just add this in there. But it's these YSL shades, sunglasses. Yeah, they also come in this really cool like leather case. And you can see right here, it says Saint Laurent. This is kind of just a simple case, but 
it's worth mentioning because it does feel a little more like luxe than just the regular like hard glasses case and they look really cool on face kind of see these like acetate glasses going around and it's kind of on trend right now and they're definitely a great alternative to like the classic ray-bans and definitely style these a little differently than the aviator glasses so if you haven't gotten a pair of acetate glasses i definitely recommend getting one yeah, you're definitely gonna see me wearing these in the summer. It's definitely great to always have a pair of sunglasses, especially when you wanna protect like the really sensitive part, like right under your eye. And honestly, protects your eyes from the sun and they kind of just look cool, you know? It's something to bump up like your outfit, you know? Give it a little more like spice. And we've gotta have an honorable mention in this. I didn't know if I was gonna put this in the video because I actually purchased this in 2021, but it came to me in 2022 because of the whole pre-order process. If you don't know, ALD ended up collaborating with New Balance once again, and they came out with these varsity jackets, but because it wasn't already made by them, they ended up getting made by Golden Bear, which is like the standard for American varsity jackets. It took a while and yeah. This was actually received in 2022, so I didn't know if I should include it, but honorable mention right here. Whenever I look at it, the craftsmanship is just so nice, and honestly, it's like a piece of art, and definitely one to keep in my wardrobe for the long haul. And if you wanna see a little bit more about this jacket, you can go see this ALD video that I linked up right here. And yeah, on to the next one. And then last but not least, if we're gonna talk about a brand that had me in 2022, it's gotta be John Elliott and their basics or essential wear. I ended up copying these two basics in 2020 or 2021, one of those years. And they're just plain black or white long sleeve. And when you feel them, the quality, the cut, it just felt really nice to me. And I was like, yeah, John Elliott has really nice basics. And then I went to Montreal with my girlfriend in 2022. And that's where I picked up the next two pieces. So we have another long sleeve, just like the other two, the black and white one in gray. I just had to like grab another pair, just to add more variety. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful knit. This is the knit that I've worn in a couple videos. And this is also the knit that is my go-to. Super high quality. I ended up getting this for like 50% off from Essence. And yeah, so what we did is me and my girlfriend, we went to Montreal. We booked an appointment at Essence and we ordered a bunch of clothes to try on. And this was one of the pair, actually both of these were a pair that I wanted to go try on. Tried this on, I already had the white and black pair at home, so had to cop it right then and there. And then this knit, I tried it. There was a nice gray as well as a cream. I thought I was gonna cop all three, but my pocket started hurting, so I said no. But I also think it's really nice having different types of knits in your wardrobe. And that's why I bought a couple of the other ones that I do have already. I got home, waited until the sale. Once it hit 50% off, I snagged it. And this has been a staple in my wardrobe ever since. But yeah, if you're looking for high quality basics and you can spend a little bit more, John Elliott is definitely the way to go. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching my top five clothing pickups for 2022. It's been a pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody and peace.